George Tice is an extraordinary American photographer best known for his large format black and white photographs of New Jersey. Tice was born in Newark, New Jersey and was self-trained as a photographer. Today his works can be seen in galleries and museum collections around the world and he's published 17 books including Fields of Peace, Patterson, Seacoast, Maine, and Urban Landscapes, among many others. This feature-length documentary is by Bruce Woder, Peter Bosco, and Douglas Underdahl. Each are image makers as well, and when you watch this promo for the film, I think you'll see why this project about George Tice's work and life is so inspirational to them. The film has finished principal photography and is currently in post-production, and the filmmakers need your help with funding for things like sound editing, color correcting, the original score, and for promoting the film. And we have great gifts for you for when you contribute. We have vintage posters, like this one here. We have signed books, and these great canvas tote bags, which are way better than the ones that NPR gives away. And if you can't contribute, please pass this link along to a friend. I'd like to leave you with a quote from George Tice's Urban Landscapes. He says, it takes the passage of time before an image of a commonplace subject can be assessed. The great difficulty of what I attempt is seeing beyond the moment. The everydayness of life gets in the way of the eternal. Thank you. thought about photographing Patterson, New Jersey. A very deeply American photographer. Urban Romantic, I think, for me, was probably the most important book. George is one of the significant uh, photographers of the 20th century. Ansel Adams was interviewed, and uh, they asked him who his favorite photographers were, and one of the few he mentioned was George Tice. George has a, has a particular understanding of post-industrial landscape through his lens, which is certainly a different lens. Well, it was just me and my mother until I was age 11. I was getting in trouble at school, and he said, you know, they have a camera club. Well, I was the only boy. He brought some prints in, and I, as I'm talking, I, I, I'm getting the goosebumps because this, this kid's stuff was so good. He was doing it to get his father's attention. If you joined the Navy when you were 17, you got out one day before you were 21. And there was an explosion in the hangar bay, and I grabbed the speed graphic, and I ran up to the flight deck, and the men were pushing burning helicopters overboard. From 1960 to 1970, I worked as a baby photographer, which I thought would be temporary. It gave me uh, half the time to do my personal photography, which is more meaningful to me. Turn on some music, pour a drink, and enjoy my pictures. And I may never do a picture greater than this. If I live another 50 years, I'll be 122. And I don't think I'll make a greater picture than this.